This is Pegasus Launch Control, T-minus 57 minutes, 45 seconds and counting, less than one minute away from the departure of the L-1011. Copy L1011 in the box. Copy in the box. Copy that. L1011 is in the drop box. T minus 12, T minus 10. Peg is go for lunch. T minus 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. LT, stand by, stand by as you guys are reacquire heading. LC, PLT, copy. LC, PEG, PEG is go for launch. PLT, LC is go for launch. PLT, confirm. LC, PLT, PLT, confirms go for launch. Drop on my mark. Three, two, two one. one. Drop. Go for release. Pegasus is away. And drop. Pegasus is away. LC, PLT. Day one ignition of the Pegasus rocket with Cygnus helping hurricane forecasters understand and predict the intensity of hurricanes. Fin actuator system is working properly to control the flight of the vehicle during stage one. Power buses remain nominal, approximately 30 minutes, 30 seconds into the flight. RCO. First motion ignition, first motion time of 1337 colon Vehicle is now past no max two. Attitude remains that's nominal. 13, approximately 30 seconds two until one, stage no one burnout. Attitude remains nominal. Power buses remain strong. All the data coming back. Approximately 10 seconds until stage one burnout. All data coming back looks good. Getting ready for the first stage to burn out right on time. Stage one is burned out. Attitude remains nominal. Coming up on first and second stage separation. Approximately 10 seconds until stage one separation and stage two ignition. Stage two separate, stage one separation. Stage two ignition. Stage two TVC is operating nominally and controlling the flight of the vehicle. Standing by for fairing separation. Power buses remain strong, approximately 20 seconds till fairing deployment. Second stage flight looks good. Fairing separation is confirmed. Attitude remains nominal after successful fairing separation. This animation based on actual flight data. Approximately 30 seconds, excuse me, 20 seconds until stage two burnout. Vehicle is flying down the nominal track, indicating good performance. Stage two is burned out. Attitude remains nominal. Our flight engineer, Steve Hollow. Long coast phase between stage two and stage three. Steve Hollow reporting everything looks good. Stage three TVC is initiated. Stage two separation.
stage three ignition. TVC is operating nominally, following command and controlling the flight of the vehicle. At nominal during stage three burn. We had acquisition through Karoo. Vehicle systems remain nominal during stage three burn. Have loss of signals on the Cape here in about 30 seconds. About 15 seconds after that, we'll lose data from the uh, Jupiter Inlet Station. And Karoo now is tracked. Attitude remains nominal. Report that we have telemetry from downrange sites in French Guiana. Stage 3 burnout. Vehicle is now in orbit. Vehicle is now reorienting into the payload deployment attitude. Cygnus observatories A and C have been successfully deployed. Approximately 20 seconds until observatories E and G. Cygnus observatories E and G have been successfully deployed. Approximately 20 seconds until observatories F and H. Two remaining deployment sequences coming up. Altitude 300. Observatories miles. F and H have been successfully deployed. Approximately 20 seconds until the last deployment event to deploy observatories Bravo and Delta. Spacecraft velocity now 16,124 miles an hour, 319 miles in altitude. Observatories B and D have been successfully deployed. Coming up on Pegasus transmitters off. Pegasus transmitters are now off. This ends the successful mission to place the Cygnus observatories in orbit. Congratulations, Cygnus. Good hunting. PLT, uh, we have visual of your wheels down. And uh, LPO LC Victor 2. And PLT, we have visual of your wheels down. 846. And uh, PLT, LC on 270. 